Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a cool little hack using labels on Edge TX that'll make your life at the field just a little bit easier. If you're anything like me and you have a handful of models to select from, labels on Edge TX can be a really cool tool to organize your different airplanes into different groups. In my case, I've got labels for big planes, 3D planes, FPV, jets, and so on. And then when I'm at the field, the problem is that if I select one of these categories, I'm limited to the planes that are in that category. So for example, I have all my 3D 60 inch size planes in here, and I have some of my big planes in this category. So if I go to the field with say my extra NG, and I fly that model, which is actually currently selected, and then when I'm done and I wanna to switch to a different model that's not in the big planes category, I have to press 3D pattern and then uncheck the big planes, and then I can choose for my 3D or pattern planes. In this case, I wanted to fly my Vanquish. So I can select that one and go through the warnings. And then when I'm done flying that and I wanna to go to the next plane, I have to go down to jets. So I click on jets and I unclick the 3D pattern button and then I can select the jet that I wanna fly as well. So that works and it's a functional system, but what I realized at the field was I don't really want to navigate around between all my different labels. So there's got to be a better way. So I came up with this concept of a today label. Let me show you how it works. If you long press the model button on the left hand side, you've got this button that says new. If you click on that, you can create a new label and I'm just going to call that label today. So there we go today and I'll hit save. Now all I have to do is find the planes that I am bringing to the field on that particular day and select them and add that label. So in this case, I'm gonna, I brought my NG 78 inch. So I'll click on that once and then I'll long press and hold and I'll hit edit labels and I'll just add a label today. That's it. That's all you have to do. Next, I'll go down to my 3D planes and I'll select my Vanquish because I had that one with me. So I'll click once and then long press and hold it and hit edit labels and then select today. And then we'll click on jets and I'll unselect the 3D pattern and I had the Avanti that day. It's already highlighted, so I'll long press it and I'll hit edit labels and we'll go down to today. And now when I'm at the field, rather than navigating around in all these different categories, all I have to do is select the label called today. And the three planes that are at the field with me during the day are right here. I don't have to navigate around to different labels. And here's the cool part. When you're done, you can either delete the label altogether or you can simply edit the models and remove them. So if I, if I just change the label on the extra NG78, if I click on that and then long press it, I can click edit labels and all I have to do is remove the today label and that removes it from this little listing. Alternatively, if I just want to erase the today label, I can do that too by long pressing on the label and hitting delete label. And when I do that, we're right back to where we started. I thought this was a cool little labels hack to make your life a little easier at the field when you're flying different models that might be in different categories. That way you don't have to spend so much time navigating around on your labels. You can simply go to your today label and see the planes that you brought with you to the field for that day of flying. That's it. I hope you liked my little labels hack. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the bell so you know new videos hit the channel. YouTube should recommend another video for you just about now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and get out there and fly something.